everyone, it's Grace again, and as I was looking at my subscriber numbers, I noticed at the beginning of the week I had reached 500. The last time I looked, it was 506, so it's time for a 500 subscriber giveaway. And I'm doing this to celebrate the growth of my channel and to celebrate you my subscribers and to thank you for watching and commenting I love your comments they make me feel special um, you can comment about anything but today we're gonna have something special that you're gonna put in the comments and I'll get to that in a little bit first thing I'm gonna do is show you what you will win if you are selected from the comments. I'm going to do a drawing. Um, and if you like yarn, I think you just might like this giveaway. Okay, first thing I want to show you is I have purchased. This is a bag, and I haven't opened it, but I bought myself one just like it, so I'll show you mine. Because I fell in love with it. It's a bag that can be used as a grocery bag. It's waterproof. That's one thing I really like. And it has a zipper at the top. So you have your zipper. You can open it up. And inside, there's a pocket where you can put little knickknacks. You can put your stitch markers and other things. And besides that, clipped inside there is a little another little pouch and this pouch I believe is for you to fold your bag up and carry into if you want to use it as a grocery bag but not me I want to use mine to carry yarn in especially if it's raining outside I'm having a going somewhere keep my yarn nice and safe it's got um, the outside it's pretty flowers the inside is just white you can hear the material it's a uh, rain it's like a raincoat but it's water resistant waterproof I haven't dumped it into water to see if it would hurt it but um, it zips up it's got actually two zippers you can use either one oh I think I to use this one. Okay, that's what I did. Okay, so zips up. You've got these nice handles, and you can wear them on your shoulder. And you can put a, a lot of yarn in there, and you can put your project in there if you want to. So this is one of the things that's going to be in the giveaway. Okay. But let's get to the stuff that most important, the yarn. I've chosen some different things that I like. The first two skeins I'm going to show you are Lion Brand Mandela in the color Gnome. I love this colorway. Um, I made a Hengetsu shawl out of this. If you go back and you can find the video I made of that. And this is Mandala yarn. And it has name is known. I believe it's 590 yarns of three, number three weight yarn, DK weight. I made a Hengetsu shawl with just one ball. With two balls, you could, uh, I used two balls of one type um, and a little bit more yarn with that to make a top. But I used the virus blanket. If you use a more open stitch you could make that but you can there's enough here to make whatever you probably want okay so we have those next I have I this is very difficult to find and uh, this is the mandala baby and this is called unicorn cloud I actually found this on uh, Walmart.com, and uh, it's it is very soft. 
I can tell a difference between this and this. This is just softer. So when you, if you're the winner and you get this, you can you can feel the difference. Uh, this also has 590 yards, and it's just called Mandela Baby. It's the only difference. It's a number three weight, so well, that is the same. Then. I got some. It's a wrap rainbow. Now this yarn um, has strands in it. Let's see. I really don't hate to open it, but I'm gonna because I don't want to mess it up. But it's got four strands. You might be able to see it right there. There are four strands of blue right there. And as you go along, you will then incorporate three strands of blue, one strand of green. Then you'll have two strands of blue, one strand of green, and so on. So that it's creating a very interesting look. I have not used this as yet. I have some that I want to try too, but I couldn't find this color earlier, so I went to redheart.com site and ordered this. This is the Fiesta colorway, and I think the rainbow color is very pretty. I don't like bright colors, do I? <laughs> okay, this next one is not as bright, but this is an ice yarn, and this is a cake's chain, and it is black, and it's got rainbow colors in it. If you watch Jan of Urban Gypsy Crochet, Jan Carruthers, she made um, a shrug, a cocoon shrug out of some of this yarn. And last but not least is another package of yarn. You get the whole packages of these. Um, this yarn has glitz in it. I don't know if you can see it. I think it's picking it up. It's got silver in there. This is called um, Magic Glitz. The yarn is Magic Glitz and it has um, 360 meters. It's a number three weight also. I've got to where I enjoy working with a number three weight um, at times, like with the mandala. Just gets a different, and especially with it being summertime, it's so hot. I like working with these lighter weight yarns. So I thought, I'm going to try some of these, uh, get some of these things that I like. Um, this color, if you can see, um, has purple, orchid, salmon, yellow, and green. You can see some of those colors. You might see it better on this side. They're all swirled together and it's got the glitz in it. So, there's enough here to make just about anything you can think of. So anyway, this is what the giveaway is. All these different yarns. Some may be new to you. I know this Red Heart is new to me. Uh, this Baby is new to me. I have not tried this color before, but I did get myself one. And I got myself one of these too. <laughs> I wanted to try it. it. It just looks so interesting, but I thought we could share. So here are the different yarns. In here, there's the. Oh, this is a number. Actually, let me um, explain. This Red Heart is a number two yarn. I have seen some people work with it using a size G hook or size H hook. I think it recommends a G hook because, um, let me find it, a four millimeter hook, which is a G hook in the United States. For knitting, it's uh, 3.75 millimeter is what it looks like. So, or you can use a five millimeter for the pattern that's on there if you knit. So this is good for knitting, crocheting, whatever. 
it is you enjoy doing. I hope you like what you see in this giveaway. Just some yarns, different kinds of yarns to play with, and a bag to put it in. Your bag is it's still in the bag, so that you know that I didn't play around with it. So, if you are wanting to win some new yarn, and a little bag, and I may throw a few extra little goodies in there, but that's a surprise. But this is the main thing that you are going to be receiving. If you are interested in entering this giveaway, this is what you need to do. First of all, you need to be subscribed to my channel because I'm giving it for my subscribers. I want you to hang around with me, um, stick with me, and let's get to know each other better. Uh, you, I also would like for you to like the video to show so I know that you have actually, when I get the comments, I can see that they equal to each other and this is what I would like for you to do in the comments I would like you to tell me where you are from and what is your favorite hobby or hobbies for example I'm from Texas and my favorite hobby is first of all I love to crochet and I've also jumped onto the bandwagon of doing 5D diamond painting. I enjoy doing that. Some people think it's too tedious, but I love doing that. I, When the weather's cool, which is not very often here in Texas, I like to go hiking in the woods, and I love to read. I like to read pretty much anything. So, that's what you need to do. You need to subscribe to my channel. You need to like the video, and you need to leave me a comment in the bottom telling me where you are from. You can tell me the state you're from, the country you're from, whatever it is you'd like, me, like to tell me. And I'd also like you to tell me what is your favorite hobby or hobbies. And just kind of give me an idea what what you like out there. Also, I wanted to know if you would be interested in me showing any of my 5D diamond paintings or talking about them. I have learned a few tips and tricks as I've been doing them. And if you'd be interested in something like that as a giveaway one day. Just, just something to think about. But the main things I want are you subscribing, liking the video, where are you from, and what are your favorite hobbies. So, I hope you're having a fantastic day. This um, is... June the 1st and I'm going to run this giveaway for two weeks so let's say about June the 14th that gives time for people who are maybe on vacation um, or busy working or other things to have a chance to see the video and get in on the giveaway so don't forget subscribe like comment and if you do not want to be in the video but want to comment I mean, in the video, in the giveaway. Yeah, I would love for someone else to be here in the video with me. I'd have so much fun talking with you. It, it would be fantastic. So anyway, if you'd like to be in the video, come on. Um, but if you'd like to be in the giveaway, just make those comments. And if you want to comment but don't want to be in the giveaway, you can comment and just say, please don't enter me in the giveaway. That's fine. It's whatever you want. But this is worldwide also if you can get mail from the united states you can enter this video this boy i've got video on the brain you can enter this giveaway <laughs> sorry i think i better get off of here before i say uh something else that's even stupider anyway hope you're having a great day have a fantastic weekend and i'll talk to you guys later bye